Hello, I'm Brian McKenzie. I teach critical skills at Maynooth University. This here is Library Cat, because I'm at the Maynooth University Library. That's right. Who's a good kitty, even though you call indigenous species? I love libraries. Uh, a true story, when I was doing research for my history PhD, I spent time researching the original, uh, in the original Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris, built by Louis Napoleon III in the 1850s. When I was there, I sat in the exact chair that Karl Marx used. Good times. Libraries are great. They're uh, unimaginably powerful uh, for the access to the information that they provide. Leonardo da Vinci spent his entire life collecting books, painting, doing scientific research, and at the end of his life, he had a library that was a few hundred books in size, and it was his remarkable uh, treasured possessions was his library, uh, a few hundred books that had taken him a lifetime to accumulate. As a student at Maynooth, you'll have access to hundreds of thousands of texts uh, and library cat. And libraries are absolutely fantastic places to explore knowledge, uh, investigate, just be intellectually curious. Great places to meet, uh, discuss issues, but really as a, as a student, the access to information you have is uh, truly remarkable. Now, unfortunately, in the times we're living in, it's not as easy to have physical access to the library. So, welcome to the future. If you're watching this video, chances are you're on the bright side of the digital divide. So let's take a look at how you can access Maynooth University off-campus resources. Let's go together now and exercise our information privilege to access these resources. We'll start by going to the Maynooth University Library website. Now, once there, we're going to scroll down to the left and look for off-campus access. You'll see it there. There's a chat box to ask questions. Very good. Click on off-campus access. Now you need your student ID and the password you use to log into your student account. This is your Moodle password, your, M, your Microsoft Office. Notice how uh, robust my password is. It's many bits in strength. No hacker's going to get that one. Ha ha. Click through there, and now you'll see the menu for off-campus resources. There's a lot there. Very important, you go through off-campus access first rather than search first. Go ahead and click on library search. So don't start with library search, start with off-campus. Let's type in the name of a book we want to find. How about Trent Hergen Raider? There it is, Collaborative World Building for Writers and Gamers. What a great book, I recommend it. And you'll see it's got options for full text online. You can also filter on the left, full text online, book, ebook. Uh, when there's options, should always choose the one that says ebook next to it. I find the other one sometimes asks you for a, a different login. Enable flash content if you're using, a, depending on your browser, and you'll see on the left there, PDF full text access. There you go. You're gonna click on that, and that's gonna bring you in to the PDF of the book or the journal article or the resource that you're accessing. Now, it'll look basically exactly like the book, won't have the satisfying nice kind of smell or aesthetic uh, feel, texture. On the left there, you'll see you've got a uh, table of contents that you can click through. You can access um, everything. You could search, uh, read it, uh, take notes from it, uh, Take a screenshot of an important page if you want to, uh, depending on the browser. Uh, at the top, you'll see you, you can add to it folder, you can save pages, you can export a citation. You have lots of different options to work with there. So 
that's just one example of, of how I use the off-campus uh, access to resource electronic uh, e-texts. Uh, this will be very important for you as a student at Maynooth University this year. So do yourself a favor and become proficient in using this resource.